What's next? J- uh, July 26th, we have the Hungary. Hungarian Grand Prix. I like, I like Hungary. Yeah, it was exciting this year. I like it. I like the last few corners again. Kind of looks like a weird anvil. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. the, 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 the track has been around for a while, too. Uh, it yeah, makes for a good racing. It's one of this is the twentieth year, I think. It's one of the cheapest Grand Prix to go, so you get like you get oh. a lot of attendance. Nice. Um, it's uh, the closest for Finnish fans, and Finnish uh, uh, from Finland, um, and Scandinavians are uh, some of them are really really into Formula One, so they come here, they come to your uh, Kimi Raikkonen. Isn't it uh, Finland? You have to like do some rally course to get your driver's license. That's it. Yeah, yeah, in in Finland, you all into racing. yeah, they're all pretty pretty much into <laughs> racing. <laughs> 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 like basically, right in Budapest. Yeah, just outside or something. Just like yeah, but yeah, a lot yeah. of history, super old city. A lot of, that's what I like about a lot of these uh, European races, especially in the, like in the broadcast. They give you the culture segments. You get a little taste of taste of each city. I I, I like I like Hungary. I'm gonna be looking forward to Hungary, and Hungary yeah. also this is year was a good race too. Well, it's it's the last race before the summer break, right. so every year they take like three four weeks uh, break. Um, I guess this this year is going to be about four so weeks. Twenty seven days. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Good track. Uh, good vibe. I'd love to go one day. Um, what a way to <laughs>